The saga of Modoc began November 11, 1942, when Terrell Jacobs, the owner of the Great American Circus, brought his circus to Wabash High School. He brought his crew of animals, and along with that came three elephants, Empress, Judy, and Modoc. And these three elephants were tied up outside the high school. When Walter Slemmer's dogs came and started barking at these three elephants, and they threw up their tethers and broke loose. Now, Empress and Judy were good girls, and they just meandered down in the front lawn of the high school. But Modoc, she had different things in mind, and she took off for downtown. The first place she came was Mrs. H. W. Reed's house, and she had put two apple pies out on her windowsill for cooling. And Modoc came by, <laughs> ate both of those apple pies. And she came to downtown Wabash, and she came up to the hotel behind me here, the Indiana Hotel, and standing there were two boys, Jerry McPicker and Gerald Hopkins. And Gerald had just bought a bag of penny candy and up came Modoc. And those poor boys, their knees were banging together. They didn't know what to do. And Gerald handed out that bag of candy. And just like those apple pies, Modoc took that bag and <laughs> bag and all right down the old hatch. <laughs> Mrs. Chauncey Kessler had come from the a uh, telephone company, and she was going to the Bradley Brothers Drugstore, where we sit here today. Modoc followed her to the front door of the Bradley Brothers Drugstore, and when Mrs. Kessler opened up that front door, out came the aroma every elephant dreams of, the smell of roasting peanuts. Modoc crashed through that front door, went inside, knocked over the peanut roaster, scarfed up all the peanuts, knocked over the soda fountain, and uh, made a mess of the whole store. And then she went out the back door, crashed out the back door, and knocked Ezra LaSalle into the gutter of the street. Modoc headed across the street to the Union Cigar Store, and she poked her head in the front door. Now the Union Cigar Store really wasn't just about cigars, it was a tavern. And as Modoc put her head in that front door, there were two old boys. One old boy turned in the other and said, that's the last drink I'm ever gonna take. <laughs> this story started hitting newspaper headlines and it literally hit headlines all across the United States. Over the next five days, she rampaged across Wabash County and Huntington County on a search for better things. And so on Sunday afternoon, Modoc was out in a field north of Mount Etna, Indiana. Terrell Jacobs brought out his other elephant, Empress, to try to lure Modoc. Modoc, during that five days, had lost 800 pounds, and the sheriff of Huntington County brought out a truckload of uh, bread to feed the elephant. Modoc was out in the field. The other elephant, Empress, was out there. The loaves of bread were out there, and slowly, Modoc started to eat that bread and worked her way back to her wagon. And when Modoc got onto that wagon, Terrell Jacobs did what any self-respecting elephant owner would do. He fed her 30 gallons of water and six quarts of whiskey to settle her nerves, don't you know? <laughs> had written a paper about Modoc. Ironically, I was working on my master's thesis at Manchester University for a fourth grade class, and it was on Wabash County history. 
So 30 years ago, I wrote a piece um, about Modoc's Market. She came up with the idea of this name for this coffee store to be Modoc's Market. Who would have known that, that many years forward we would have a store called Modox. We weren't even coffee drinkers. I was not a coffee drinker and thought, well, why don't we just try that? I always knew that Modox was here and I knew that Modox was an elephant, but I didn't know the details of the story until I inquired about the job here. As I travel around, I always like Google local coffee shop, but I've yet to find a coffee shop that's as unique as Modox Market. Our dream for the space has always been that it's a place for everyone, that we would see no strangers. I love the break free mantra really. It speaks to me for anybody who needs a place to change up their day or to break free from whatever's going on in their life.